Guillermo Gomez likes to stay active. Uh, since we moved here to Seattle, I think I put on my back about 3,000 miles. It's one way he tries to prevent kidney stones. The first time he had one was in 1973. The pain was such that I just couldn't get totally disoriented. For people say that it's like uh, giving birth, uh, and uh, when I had the first stones, I named them, but I lost track pretty soon of my family. <laughs> Since then, he's had five surgeries and passed more than 250 kidney stones. They uh, try to change my diet and try to give me some different medication, but nothing seems to have worked. Kidney stones are increasing in prevalence. Um, over the last about 20 years, they've doubled in prevalence in men and quadrupled in women. Dr. Jonathan Harper says there's no clear reason why, and that's what he's researching. What we're interested in is to try, how do we prevent stones. We, we think that fluid intake and especially water will help reduce uh, stone recurrence. Using this smart water bottle, it tracks how much water someone drinks and glows as a reminder so they can meet their daily goal. I thought I was drinking about a gallon of fluids a day and, and I was wrong. Guillermo hasn't had any new kidney stones since he's been a part of Dr. Harper's study. He's hoping the research will provide answers. Anything I can contribute with my experience for other ones to have less troubles with kidney stone would be good. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, I'm Kitty Chen.